there they are. 2023 NFL International Games. The Jaguars kick off the series on Sunday, October 1st, when they face the Falcons at Wembley Stadium. You can catch that game on ESPN Plus at 9.30 a.m. Eastern. The remaining four international games will all be broadcast right here on NFL Network at 9.30 a.m. Eastern, starting when the Bills take on the Jaguars. That's right, you're seeing Jaguars twice on that screen. Sunday, October 8th at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. The Jags playing those two games outside the U.S. of first for the NFL. The following Sunday on the 15th in October, the Titans play the Ravens as they wrap up the 2023 games in London. From London, then the international series returns to Germany for the first ever NFL game in Frankfurt. The Dolphins battle the Super Bowl 57 champion Kansas City Chiefs on November 5th. The following week on Sunday, November the 12th, the Pats, the Patriots are heading back overseas to face the Colts also in Frankfurt to complete the 2023 NFL International Series. Okay, baby. All right, let's kick it off as the schedule tells us to, to focus on those London games. It's Falcons, Jags, Jags, Bills, Ravens, Titans. Kyle, kick us off. What stood out to you when you watched the video and saw the schedule for the what first time? What stood out to me was, did you bring your actual passport I did. to work today? I really did. It <laughs> Don't lose that thing. I will not. I will not. I just got my New Jersey driver's license, so I have to bring oh. it to me. I'm a real resident now. Yeah, so I have my Germany stamp it's in incredible. here somewhere. Yeah. Right. And I'm just awesome. hoping that I get to use this bad boy this That's year. That's fantastic. I, I, I think the <laughs> Buffalo Bills will get to use it too. Week five, I'm looking at. Mm. You've had a month of football. We've got the Kings. Get your get your team in order. And then we have Jags Bills. And I'm looking forward to a lot of these things. Uh, Josh Allen et al. have not gone overseas. And they are facing the de facto home team in Jacksonville. And you know, <laughs> Trevor Lawrence got a little chirpy on the social media. Broke character recently and responded to a dastardly quarterback ranking from a, a notorious program in the morning that's airing right now. He didn't like where he was ranked, apparently, and below some people. He said, the game ain't played on paper. Trevor, I couldn't agree with you more. Sometimes the game ain't played on North American soil. I will tell you this. In addition to playing <laughs> Joe Burrow this year and Patrick Mahomes this year, he will be facing Josh Allen in London, which is basically uh, the Trevor Lawrence Invitational now over there. <laughs> Show us, Trev. Get, get a win against these Bills. Now, we're looking at it from a couple of years ago. Guys, Trevor Lawrence, I'm talking about the Urban Meyer Trevor Lawrence beat Buffalo in a very strange 9-6 ball game in which neither Trevor nor Josh played well at all. That was a couple of years ago. A lot has changed since then. That is when you look at um, for kind of an AFC showdown as we're figuring out who's going to be the guys. We have Josh Allen who's a star. Trevor Lawrence on the cusp of becoming a star. This team has multiple players on multiple sides mm -hmm. of the ball named Josh Allen. There's all <laughs> kinds of funny stuff going on here. Jags Bills week five, month into the season. We're hitting our stride. And Jason, if I'm if I'm looking at this right, Jacksonville will already be very comfortable in yes. London by the time the Bills arrive. A lot of funny stuff going on. Jacksonville for the first time ever playing back-to-back -back games in London. As a player, I went over to London. I experienced that twice in different seasons, obviously. I'm curious to know, I want to know all about the travel because last year, whether it was London, whether it was Germany, all we talked about leading up is when are these teams going? When are they going to get there? How many days are they going to spend? Are they going to be jet lagged? Well, Jacksonville is going over there. They're going to stay the entire week. And depending upon how you look at that, they'll be over 4,000 miles away from their families. Now, for a lot of players, that'll be away from the kids, away from the wife, and you can say, oh, I'm going to miss my family. Sure. Or you can say, wow, I get a week-long vacation, all expenses paid, uh -huh. to enjoy a different country, hang out with some of my best friends, mm -hmm. and get a chance to play a game that I love. So for Jacksonville, this is a very unique opportunity. I think over the years, we've floated the idea, could an NFL team actually reside in London? Sure. Could they be there, travel over to the U.S., play their home games overseas? Could this be the first opportunity we see of what this could possibly look like? What a team does for that week? What are they going to, how are they going to entertain themselves? How are they going to rest up? How are they going to prepare? Where are they going to do all the things they do in a normal week where they're in Jacksonville? I'm curious to know. I want to have a camera follow them around yes. like a reality TV show. See everything that all the guys are getting into. Where's Trevor Lawrence hanging out? What is he doing throughout the week? Who's he hanging out with? I want to see it all. So I'm going to enjoy and I want to see what this looks like back-to-back mm -hmm. -back games mm -hmm. in London. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he could find a Waffle House, uh, Trevor Lawrence. I bet you could. After a big victory. Mm -hmm. I guess you could. Yeah. Do you think the Jaguars are the kind of psychopaths who take their clothes out of the bags and move them into the dresser of a hotel room? For that long, yeah. You know oh, what? my gosh. I was going to ask, like, what if you're over there, Jay? Like, do you think guys...
guys could just like pop down to like Spain or something on Monday, Tuesday, like then you wouldn't, because like do you have an, you know, what do you do with all your free time? Each there? week you have to have at least one off day. You so have to have it. This Where is, a, this is a great opportunity. Yeah. Maybe so. I, I, I think if I'm a coach, I'm telling everybody, listen, you can leave the hotel, don't leave the country. <laughs> like whatever you do, do not leave the country. We don't need any any mm -hmm. international incidents. The one thing as a former player I want to know is. Where are we practicing at? Do we have a cold tub? Because mm. that is a mandatory. That's, that's, that's You've what you're have concerned a cold about. Tub. Absolutely. Okay. Recovery uh, after that game, yeah. and then leading up to the next game. I mean, I would live in the cold tub Monday and Tuesday. If you're if you're years five or more in a league, the cold tub is your best friend. All right, just jump um, in the uh, the Thames River, right? That's yeah, right. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Right River Thames. Plenty of London uh, London bridges. <laughs> slowly. Too. Um, I love the matchups, uh, and and all these games are going to be exciting. But give me the Baltimore Ravens mm. and the Tennessee Titans, October fifteenth. Mm -hmm. I love seeing the players that the NFL gets to send over there and represent us. And we've already had a coronation in London uh, once this we year. We sure did. Right? Yes, we did. Yeah. Bring me another King Henry. Give me uh, Derrick Henry done, Sean. out on the pitch. Listen, he's played uh, in London before. Not a great game. Had 33 yards. It kind of was a was a clunker for him. Actually, okay. Deion Lewis led the Titans uh, in, in that game. Deion Lewis. D. Lou. I like D. Lou. I think for, for Derrick Henry, the fact that he's going to get to go, and here he is as the Wildcat, fans, I think, in London uh, appreciate the rugby running. Yeah. Uh, bodies sure. bouncing off you. So I think he's going to have a, a great following. I know you guys were out there last year uh, when uh, when Seattle had a, a bunch of crazy fans. I think, that, I think Nashville's going to travel well for this game. Uh -huh. mm. And then on the flip side, Nobody gets more recognition for these London games than the kickers. The kickers. <laughs> oh, Justin like the Tucker, kickers. Yeah. I mean, one of the NFL's best rock kickers, star. Is You're gonna, right. He's yeah, going to have a chance star. to show off his skills. I the actual the decibel of the volume of from the crowd actually got louder anytime there was a PAT or field goal. Yeah. They like that stuff. Ironically, Baltimore has played in London, and in that game they got trounced, 44 to seven. Tucker never even got to kick a field goal, so ah. it was a shame. I'm sure he was excited to be out there and show off his kicking skills on the pitch, and he didn't get a chance to. So I think Justin Tucker, okay. uh, if Derrick Henry doesn't steal the show, Justin Tucker, Tucker could will. be on the, yeah. the MVP of that game, and uh, I'm Good sure point. everybody's gonna be watching him in pregame. Yeah, he's gonna be showing off some tricks and stuff. Like Odell right. before the game. Game was one handed exactly. like Justin yeah. Tucker will yeah, be the, the drop show. kicks. Yeah. Who will they be Odell. watching more, Odell or Tucker? Well, I don't know. Of Odell, I know because yeah. uh, we've told the story before, but Go ahead. the pop quiz is when we got into a cab in London and we asked, Yeah, we're here for work, we're here for the NFL. Who did the cabbie say he was he most loved, the most beloved player in the NFL that he was, wanted to see play in London? Who do you think that would have been? Uh, it was probably Tom Brady. It was not. It was Odell Beckham Jr. OBJ. Well, they loved was him. He loved him. Wasn't we even on the team. We're like, hold on. Odell does not have a team at this point. Yes. Right. This you don't want to talk about Mahomes ball. or Murrah. No. Odell, Odell Beckham. Beckham. We, we love, love Odell. Odell Beckham Jr. So, uh, giddy up, England. Giddy up, UK. You have Odell Beckham Jr. coming. Uh, talk about royalty. Uh, Derrick Henry's going to have to go to work if he wants to dethrone <laughs> Odell Beckham Jr. as the most beloved football player in the UK. Now, Tom Brady did get one of the warmest receptions in Germany, and we'll talk about Germany in a little bit here. But the reception and the blind adoration that people in London have for Odell Beckham Jr., and that is his, because of everything that he's involved in culturally with modeling campaigns and fashion and whatnot, like, he gets to go. And people get mm -hmm. to watch him. And then also the guy that's throwing him the ball, Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Like, yeah. There could easily, he could show up. People are like, I'm sorry, who's this guy? And yeah. we over here in the States, like, we told you! He's awesome! And the Ravens knew he was awesome, so we paid him. I think it's going to be an awesome game, but for those two figures to show up in London, and I think the flock will arrive as well. You think the Titans are going to travel well. I think the Ravens fans are happily heading to the website NFL.com slash international games to get their tickets for this game. Now that's the third, that's the second of three. Mm -hmm. The first being played at Wembley, the second two at Tottenham. Tottenham is a beautiful stadium. Mm -hmm. Wembley, obviously historic in London. So we are thrilled to have announced these games. Here's a look again. Uh, it's October. If you want to head over there, you get three NFL games in a row. You can tour London. Just get your passport stamped that's once. Cool. Got three games, two Jaguars games. That's the most important, one of the most important parts of this. First time ever a team will play back-to-back -back two games in a season for the NFL.